Hello friends. Have you tried to put line breaks in text area placeholder attribute and have success in it? If you have not got success in inserting of line break inside placeholder attribute of a text area field, then don't worry. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to put multi-line placeholder text in text area placeholder attribute by using jQuery. In this tutorial, we will use jQuery for solve the problem of inserting of line break in the text of text area placeholder attribute. So, this is our index file. In this file, we have already included jQuery and Bootstrap library link. In this file, we have create one text area file and by writing text area tag open and close and in this field, we have write placeholder attribute is equal to email1, email2, email3 and go to browser. Friends, here we can see that when page has been loaded in browser, then we can see one text area field on web page, and in this we can see placeholder text inside text area field. But now, we want to display this text like email 1 in first line, email 2 in second line, email 3 in third line. For this, we have go to index page, and in here in placeholder attribute text, we have put slash n after email 1, another slash n after email 2, Generally slash n has been used for print text in new line. Now we have saved this and check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see in placeholder text, not print email 1 in first line, email 2 in second line, and email 3 in third line but it display whole text in single line with slash n text also for solve this problem we have go to index page and from this text area field first we have removed this placeholder text next we have go to jQuery code part here we have create one placeholder text variable is equal to email 1 slash n, email 2 slash n and email d. Below this, we have write, dollar with field type text area, with attribute method, with two argument, in first argument, we have write placeholder attribute, and in second argument, we have write placeholder text variable. So, when page has been loaded in browser, then this code will put multi-line text in placeholder attribute. Now when user has come into this field for fill data, then placeholder text must be removed from this field. For this here we have write, dollar with field type, text area, with focus event, this code will execute when cursor has come on this field. Under this block, we have write dollar with text area field type with attribute method with two argument. In first argument, we have write placeholder attribute and in second argument, we have write blank value so it will remove placeholder text and when cursor leave text area field then again placeholder text must be display so for this here we have write dollar with text area with blur event 
So when cursor leave from this field, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write dollar with field type text area, with attribute method with two argument. In first argument, we have write place holder, and in second argument we have write place holder text variable. So, this code will again put multi-line text in text area field place holder attribute. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see one text area field on web page. And here we can see place holder text has been display in single line. Now we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see that place holder text has been display email 1 in first line, email 2 in second line, email 3 in third line. So, if you want to display your text area field text in multiple line, then from this video tutorial, you can put line break in text area field place holder text by using jQuery. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box. Or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends. Or even you can also share on social media also.